How's it going guys, Eric here from Techisode TV. Today I'll be showing you some 4K underwater footage filmed with the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Before we get too far into the video, I want to give you all the heads up that I have color graded these shots to make the colors pop a bit more. Without color grading, the shots look very faded and blue regardless of which camera you used underwater because of how light propagates through water. Also, I have no training in color grading so I apologize if the colors don't look as good as they could. Oh, and please excuse any shaky camera footage. Apparently it's a lot harder to hold the camera steady in the ocean while trying to swim than I thought. Either way, I hope you guys enjoy the footage. Some other fun facts. These videos were shot in Carlisle Bay in Barbados. If you ever get the chance to visit Barbados, I highly recommend snorkeling there. Also, the video may appear to stutter on your computer when you're watching this on YouTube. Rest assured, the native video does not stutter. There are a few reasons you might be seeing stutter that basically all sum up to not having a fast enough computer to watch 4K content. I'll post another video at a later date to explain in detail why exactly 4K videos tend to stutter on YouTube and even when saved directly to your hard drive. If you think you have a pretty fast computer that should be able to play 4K content, then you can download this video by clicking the link in the description, then watching it off of your hard drive. Your Note 4 can also play this video if you want to watch it there instead. Oh, and before you dive into the water with your Note 4, you will need a waterproof case to put your Note 4 in because a Note 4 isn't even water resistant. I'll be uploading a detailed review of the case that I used with my Note 4 as soon as I can, so subscribe to find out how you can get shots like this with your Note 4. Lastly, if you missed my in-depth Note 4, Gear S, or Gear VR videos, you can check those out by clicking the links in the description. That's it for this tech episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.